Hello everybody, this is AK, I'm back. So, today we are going to talk about something a bit, uh, a bit of a tragedy that could happen, right? Um, a reader asked me, what would I consider to be a crisis prices um, for the local banks? I mean, crisis prices for their stocks, right? Um, and of course, uh, regular readers or viewers would know that I bought about $200,000 worth of UOB's common stock during the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, that was a crisis, right? And uh, some people say, oh, we won't happen so soon again. Uh, I'll, I'll just say, never say never, right? Uh, the crisis seems to be happening in shorter intervals nowadays. But, you know, in the last two days, I shared some chart reading, te technical analysis for OCBC, DBS, and UOB. And those prices are identified are actually based on the daily chart, the daily chart. So they are not very long-term in nature, although the 200 days moving average is considered a long-term moving average and uh, should provide support or resistance, like I said. Uh, however, in a crisis, that goes out the window in a crisis that goes out the window. Think about the global financial crisis, think about the COVID-19 pandemic, right? Prices broke those 200 days moving averages and went much lower, right? So um, for those of us who uh, believe in having a war chest and to roll out the war chest when a crisis hits, it is uh, interesting to know where the super long-term supports are. And some people might call these prices uh, the generational lows, right? Or, although that is a bit of an exaggeration, uh, uh, because it, they might not happen just once in a generation. So if we're reading charts to get an idea, it's important to look beyond the 200 days moving average, right? To spot those super long-term supports. Right, or the crisis prices, uh, which could be hit. Uh, and this reinforces the idea that we must always have a war chest ready, that we might not want to be 100% invested at any time uh, unless it's a crisis. Because if a crisis hits and then we don't have any money or not a lot of money uh, to take advantage of that crisis, uh, I mean, it's not the end of the world, it's not a tragedy, but it will be quite sad. Nah, huh? So if we look at the 200 months, moving average. So you can either look at the daily chart, the weekly chart, or the monthly chart. The monthly chart being the a very long term uh, window uh, look into Mr. Market's psychology. Now if we look at OCBC, we see that back in 2016 and again during the pandemic, uh, its stock price seems to bottom at around $8 to $8.40 a share. So that's quite a bit to fall from today's price. And uh, there's also a resistance turn support as we were coming out of the pandemic. Uh, the resistance were about $10 a share and then that became support. So uh, even though we say that, you know, for OCVC there is immediate support at like uh, $13, $12 a share. In a crisis, we could see $10 and $8.50 around that uh, kind of... Uh, price level. And um, if you look at the 200 months moving average, that is currently at 950 a share. So that gives you an idea of what a crisis could send your uh, uh, OCBC stock prices down to. Now, if you look at UOB, uh, I said in previous videos that its share price could go as low as $24 a share. However, if we look at the 200 months moving average, it is now at around $22 a share. So that's even lower than the $24 a share that I said was well, very bearish in a bearish scenario. Uh, so in a crisis, we could actually see $22, right? Uh, and confirms my initial feeling that UOB potentially has a lot more downside if uh, sentiments should sour uh, towards uh, the banking sector, right? And as for DBS, um, although in the last videos, I said uh, DBS 
seems to ha- seem to have the most positive momentum, most buying momentum. Now, based on the daily chart, if sentiment should sour, DBS would not be spared either. So if you look at the 200 months moving average, it's currently at $20.44. $20.44, a bit shocking. Then if we look at the exponential uh, 200 months moving average, basically the difference between exponential uh, moving average and simple moving average is that the exponential moving average gives more weightage to recent price movement. So because DBS recent price movement uh, is quite strong, Compared to the other uh, two banks, for example, the exponential moving average is 200 months moving average is at $22.44. Still quite a long way to fall from where it is today. So if sentiment should sour towards the banks, these are the possible crisis prices that we are looking at. So uh, like I said, don't be overly pessimistic. Always have a war chest ready and also Please note that technical analysis simply shows us where the supports and resistance are and uh, it is not a certainty, right? So if AK can do it, so can you. Bye-bye.